Good morning, everyone. Wish you a day full of happiness and joy. Dear students, in the last two recorded lessons, we had done the reading of a fantasy story from Oxford International English Student Anthology Book 1. That was really very interesting. And I hope you would have done its reading at least two to three times at home. Today we'll do its written task from student activity book. So you must have your student anthology, student activity book, a sharpened pencil and an eraser with you. First read the learning objectives with me. Can I recall the main events of the story to look at the illustrations? Can I skim and scan through text to answer the literal questions? Children, in Intro Star Trek activity, we will recall the main events of the story looking at the illustrations. As I told you, it is a fantasy story. A fantasy tale is not the real one. It is based on imagination. This story is about a girl, Ruby Nettleship, who loves climbing, sliding, jumping, running and dreaming about the adventures. In the park by Ruby's house, there was an old playground where the slides roundabout and seesaw were broken. The only one thing that worked was the swing. One day it, it also broke just because of some naughty boys. Then there was nothing to play on and the children began to go back to their homes. It was only Ruby who stayed there. Without children, the playground looked sad. She thought, nobody cares us. If this is my playground, there would be loads of brilliant stuff for everyone to play on. Just then, a tinkle of an ice cream van interrupted her. Lady in the van, asked about the other children and gave Ruby a green ice lolly. It was green like the wrapper but glowing from inside. Look at this picture. As she took two three bites, the letter P and L appeared on the end of the lolly stick. She ate rest of the lolly quickly just to check what was written on it. Plant me. Plant me was written on the stick. She was wonder what would happen if she do so. Anyhow, she pushed the stick firmly into the ground and covered it up. Soon after that, ground rumbled and a multicolored shoot pushed up through the soil. Within few seconds, it grew twice to Ruby's height. It sprouted new branches and twisted and turned into a beautiful swing. As Ruby started to swing, more shoots appeared that also turned into ladders, poles, slides and roundabouts. Ruby got an idea and she pointed to the town. And what's this? Shoots started to move there. It seemed shoots were reading Ruby's mind. She picked up her friends and the other children 
and headed off towards the town. Look at this picture. On the way, they dropped at the zoo to see if the animals wanted to come out and play. And you can see most of the animals came out and joined them to have fun. Then they made a joint trolley roller coaster in a supermarket. Within few hours, the whole town turned into a playground. Everyone climbed out of their cars, put down their shopping, forgot about work and joined in the fun. Everyone was very happy. Children, hope the whole story is clear to you. Now in the main activity, we will do the written work. Open up page number 67 of student activity book. Hurry up. Open up page number 67. First of all, you will get ready the page. Today it is Wednesday, 21st April 2021. In the middle, you will write classwork. And don't forget the capital letters because Wednesday and April are the proper nouns and they will begin with the capital letter. Hurry up. Very nice. After writing day, date and class work, come on the question number one. The first question is, why did the children go home? Why did the children go home? You will get its answer on page number 68 of Student Anthology. Can you tell me the answer? You are right. Children went home because the last swing was also broken. Here on these two lines you will write the answer. The first letter of the sentence will be capital and you will end the sentence with a full stop. Children went home because the last swing was also broken. You may check your spellings from here. Children went home because the last swing was also broken. Always begin the sentence with a capital letter and end with a full stop. You have to write the answer on these two lines. Children went home because the last swing was also broken. The next question is, what happened in the story on page 71? Tick the sentences that are true. Here are four statements. Let's read these uh, statements. Then you will tick um, in front of only those statements that are true. The first one is, the ice cream van sped off. Sped off means to leave or depart very quickly, especially by driving. Sentence number two is, the ice cream van vanished. Vanished means disappeared. Suddenly disappeared. Which one is the true statement? The ice cream van sped off or the ice cream van vanished? You are right. The second statement is right so that you will put a tick in front of the second sentence. Yes, you will put a tick in, the, in front of the second sentence in this box. Now, 
Read sentence number three with me. The lolly seemed to glow. The last sentence is the lolly suddenly turned green. What do you think? Which one is the true statement? You are right. Third one is the true statement. The lolly seemed to glow. Yes, it seemed to grow from inside. Now, you will put your tick in front of the third box, third statement in this box. Have you done? Very nice. Now turn your page, it is page number 68. The question is, find words and phrases in the story that tell you about the shoot. Write them on the shoots. Here are three shoots. You will find your answer from anthology page number 73 and 74 and you will write the words and phrases in the story that are telling you about the shoots on these three lines okay let's have a look on these two pages she watched in amazement as a multicolored shoot pushed its way up through the soil Yes, multicolored, multicolored shoot. Underline this, multicolored shoot. It shoot up into the air, nearly hitting her on the nose. Shoot up into the air. Shoot up into the air, nearly hitting her on the nose. Underline this statement. It is also telling us about the shoot. Once it had grown to twice Ruby's height. Yes, grown to twice Ruby's height. Underline this also. It had grown to twice Ruby's height. It is also telling us about the shoot. It sprouted new branches. Yes, it is also a phrase about the shoots, so that you will underline this also. It sprouted new branches. Have you done? Now, come on the next page. Let's find out the phrases about uh, shoots here. Wow, cried Ruby. She climbed abroad and launched herself into the air. As Ruby started to swing, more shoots appeared. More shoots appeared. Underline it. Yes. They quickly sprouted ladders and poles that blossomed and bloomed with swings and slides. Ruby was swinging so high by now that she could see over the whole city. I bet no one else is having this much fun, she thought to herself. Then Ruby had an idea. I think these are the phrases that we have already underlined. You will choose any three to write on three lines that are on the page. For your help, I have written those phrases on this slide, multicolored, shoot up into the air, nearly hit her on the nose. It had grown to twice Ruby's height. It sprouted new branches. And the last one is more shoots appeared. Multicolored, shoot up into the air, nearly hit her on the nose, 
It had grown to twice Ruby's height. It sprouted new branches. And the last phrase is more shoots appeared. All these phrases in the story are telling us about the shoots and you will write on the given lines. You may choose any three phrases to write on the given lines. Okay? This is page number 69. The first question on this page is What grows from the shoot? Circle all the correct words. You can see here is a list of words. You have to circle only those words that grow from the shoots. Okay? I am reading the words and you will telling me whether it grew from the shoot or not. A van? Obviously not. Poles? Yes, you are right. So that you will circle it. Poles. Letters. Mm. You will circle the letters also. The next word is roller coaster. Yes, you are right. Roller coaster. Shoots green to the roller coaster also. You will circle it also. Roundabout. You will circle this word also. And what about swings? Yes. You will circle this word. Ice cream. Yes, no. You will not circle the word ice cream because, yes, mm, it didn't grow from the shoot. A shop? No. Slides? Yes, you are right. So, you will circle this word also. Poles, ladders, roller coaster, roundabout. Swings and slides grew from the shoot. That's good. Now, the next question on this page is, Why did the whole city stop on page 77? List your reasons. Look at John's speech bubble to find out the answer from student anthology. Look at the illustrations on pages 76 and 77 of Anthology to work out why everything stopped in the city. Can you tell me? Let me tell you. The grown-ups had climbed out of their cars. Or you can write, the grown-ups put down their shoppings and forgotten about work. Everyone had joined in the fun. There were children, animals and branches everywhere. Everyone in the city had stopped to play. You will make a list writing a different reason on a new line. You may write here two or three reasons. Okay? The grown-ups had climbed out of their cars or the grown-ups had put down their shoppings and forgotten about work. Everyone had joined in fun. There were children, animals and branches everywhere. Everyone in the city had stopped to play. You have to enlist the things writing a different reason 
on a new line. You have three lines here. You may write here two or three reasons. Okay? Turn your page. It is page number 70. The question is, how does Ruby feel during the adventure? Choose a word and write it under each picture. Here on page number 70 and 71, you have to write Ruby's feelings to look at the pictures. Here in the first picture, Ruby is puzzled or bored. Yes, she's bored. So what will you do? You will cut the word bored from the word bank. Yes, cut this word bored from the word bank and write here under the first picture. You can see here is a line. You have to write here bored. She's bored here. Bored. Have you done? Every word will begin with a small letter. These are not proper nouns. Okay. Now look at the second picture. How is she feeling here? You are right. She is very sad. So what will you do? You will cut the word sad from the word bank and write here under the picture on this line. She is sad. You will just cut this word and write here. You will not write a full sentence. You will just write the word sad. Write here sad. Here she is puzzled or amazed to look at the growing ice lolly. Yeah, she's puzzled. Very nice. She's puzzled because she had never seen such a lolly. So you will write here puzzled. The first one word. Puzzled. You will cut it and write here on this line. Puzzled. Puzzled. Move to the next picture. Here she is sitting on the ground and yes, can you tell me she is amazed or puzzled? You are right, she is amazed to watch the multicolored shoot. She is amazed here. So you will cut the word amazed and write here on this line. She is amazed. Amazed means greatly surprised. Amazed. You have to write amazed on this line. This is page number 71. Look at this picture. Can you tell me she is excited or shocked? Yes, she is shocked here. And what about this picture? Mm, here she is very excited. In this picture, you will write shocked. She was shocked uh, because shoot had grown to twice Ruby's height. Shocked. You will find the word from the word bank. This is written shocked. The last word is shocked. You will cut the word and write under the fifth picture. And in the last picture, she is very excited. And you have to write here excited on this line. The next question is, Ruby's thoughts seem to make the shoe turn 
into different things. If you were Ruby, what would you wish the shoe to change to next? Here are two lines to write the answer. Here you have to write your own opinion that if you were Ruby, if you were Ruby, then what would you wish the shoe to change to next? Okay? You may write, I wish the shoot would come to my house or I wish the shoot would come to my school or anything else or I wish the shoot would change whatever is it in your mind. You may write here because you have to write here your own choice that what do you want, what do you wish the shoe to change the next okay i hope all of you have done your work neatly rest of the pages we will complete in the next recorded lesson one more thing i want to say that all of you have enough time to read and write staying at home so please don't waste your time you must read one page or paragraph daily to improve your reading skills. Okay? Thanks for being with me. God bless you.